Let's go! So, Bitcoin is currently breaking down from this triangle, or it broke down yesterday actually. But if you are thinking about selling Bitcoin right now, if you are uncertain about the direction of Bitcoin, I got very important information you need right now. So, we are going to talk about that and I do urge you to stick around for this entire video because this is extremely important. Also, we are going to talk about Ethereum, we're going to talk about Cardano, the usual stuff with the Binance Smart Coin as well. And then we are taking a look at Bitcoin on a more macro scale. What can we actually expect here moving into the next couple of weeks and the next couple of months? So yeah, welcome back everybody. My name is Cristiano, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day. And today we got an extra important episode. So if you are not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe right now and activate the bell so that we can jump straight in to the content. Okay, so here's the thing. Yesterday we broke down from the triangle and just like we were talking about yesterday, if you saw a breakdown from this triangle, the next levels of support were going to be the orange line right here. And also, if we were to have a big, big drop, then you got the orange box at $50,000. Now, you can see that we did get that support off of my orange line, we wicked below, and then we went up again. Now, this is something I'm going to elaborate on uh, more here in a bit, because this is very interesting. But for now, let's get back to this triangle. Okay, so we had that breakdown. We have had the retest. We didn't manage to actually close inside of the triangle again. Instead, we are now going down again. But, okay, we had that. But you are actually able to uh, adjust this just a tiny bit if you want to. So what we got right now, and this is the same triangle, they are on different exchanges, so they are looking a bit uh, different here. So the first triangle was more like this, I guess. So the first triangle was this one, yeah. Nonetheless, it's very clear that we had that breakdown uh, as discussed in this video, also in the title, Big Breakout uh, Within 24 Hours. But if you adjust this just a tiny bit, you can actually see that we are forming what is looking like a bit more like a descending triangle if you look at this on longer time frames. So this is fine. You had the first pattern, it broke down. Now we are actually forming a uh, second pattern. And this one, I mean, this is still very rough, but it's still very clear though, because you can see multiple touching points uh, descending like this. And this is going to have a breakout at the very least uh, within four days, probably before that, but the next four days you can expect a breakdown from or breakout or up or down, whatever, from this big triangle. So that doesn't change anything regarding the previous triangle we were keeping our eyes on. We still had this breakout, it's just that now we are forming a separate pattern. Okay, now if we have a break, and let's talk about this triangle. So these are usually following the trend. So the trend was down and we broke down and following the trend. Okay. Now let's look at the other triangle. This is descending, which has a bearish bias. Also it's trend following. And so you can expect perhaps a breakout or breakdown to the downside from this triangle. But here's the thing. This is why I am not selling Bitcoin right now, because this is where you have to look at this from a more macro scale, because yes, we have these patterns. This could actually break down. But here's the thing, we go to my support and resistance lines, you can see these huge wicks right here. So the first time we went down below here uh, to approach my orange box at 50, uh, well, call it just above $50,000, you can see we had this huge bounce. So how big was this bounce, to be honest? It was 10%, completely ridiculous. Then we consolidate, we didn't manage to break above the orange box at 57,600. Instead, we went down, we ranged for a bit. But look at this, yesterday we actually had another big dump here in Bitcoin, 4%, uh, almost 5% here on this candle. But look at this, also again, big, massive wick. What is this telling us, guys? This is telling us that once we get down to the proximity of the orange box, we are having huge buy-in demand come in, okay? So just think about that. We have a huge support level right here, and we cannot even reach this, the edge of the orange box, before we see massive buying pressure coming in. So why am I telling you this? Well, because right now, just like I said yesterday, it's a huge risk selling Bitcoin right now because you are selling right into massive support. Not only do we have my notorious big orange box here acting as massive support, 
Also, just like we talked about yesterday, if I go to the daily, we have the, uh, if I flip on the moving averages, you have the 100 day moving average right now inside of the orange box. And actually you can see that we got rejected by the 50 day moving average here. So yeah, we got that rejection right here. This is why you need to keep, uh, pay attention to the moving averages as well. But on the daily you have this and usually in a bull market, this one holds multiple times. So you have this in combination with the orange box. This is why I'm saying selling right now is a huge uh, risk because this is probably going to act as massive support. Now, can we dump straight past this? If we have a catastrophic event and go down to uh, whatever level? Yes, of course, that is possible. But in trading, everything is risk to reward. And selling right now is a massive risk in my book. Not only because of that, but also if we go to the weekly, I want to flip on the 21 EMA on the weekly time frame, And this is usually something that holds extremely strong during bull markets. And you can see that this is still a bit off. It's currently at $45,000, but this is rising quickly. It's rising pretty quickly. So within a couple of weeks, let's say two weeks, this is going to be in you know close proximity of the orange box right here around $50,000. So this is also again going to act as massive support. So you have all of these things lining up for a big bounce at $50,000 should we actually get down below this level. So if you are expecting a big bounce at the $50,000 level at my orange box, why would you sell, you know, $2,000 off that level? It just doesn't make sense. But hey, this is not financial advice, just my opinion to each their own. If you get wrecked, it's not my fault. If you make massive fortunes, it's not due to me either. It's all your own responsibility. Okay, that's cool. There was also actually another thing I wanted to talk about, and that is traditional markets. They are looking pretty good right now. And a lot of people do not see the correlation between traditional markets and Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is on the four hour, I'm going to layer the traditional markets on top of the Bitcoin price. And uh, so we are on the four hour and what you got here, the blue is the traditional markets. And this is not going to follow exactly, but it's going to follow the trends. It's going to follow the general swings about what's going on here. Now, there's a couple of reasons for this. First off, of course, Bitcoin is trading 24 seven traditional markets are not. But if we just, you know, uh, compress this a bit, you can see you have this big swing in traditional markets. You have the big swing in Bitcoin. Also, you start to go down in traditional markets. Bitcoin starts to go down. You have a, a, a uh, big bounce here in traditional markets. You have a big bounce in Bitcoin going down here and then they go up together here. Sideways action going down. You have the traditional markets going up a huge run here. Also, Bitcoin having a huge run. And uh, so, I mean, the correlation is pretty clear. And although people do not want this to be the case, people are saying, but this is not what I want to see. I don't want Bitcoin to correlate with the traditional markets. It doesn't matter. This is the reality. So it's just, you know, play the chips you're dealt or play the cards you're dealt rather. <laughs> so what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that I think that the traditional markets are bullish because we are at an all time high. And being at an all time high traditionally, uh, generally, is bullish. So if you see traditional markets continue to be strong with all of the money printing and everything going on, they are most likely going to continue to pump. Don't see any reason why Bitcoin should not, to be honest. All right, now uh, let me take away this and let's talk about, um, before we talk about Ethereum, Cardano, BNB, don't forget, if you're a new user of Bybit, you can sign up using my link right here and get $1,610 for free. So this campaign is live right now, although they have not put it on their front page. But if you go to uh, their website, this is actually on their website. So you got the deposit requirements right here, then an additional $610 in the rewards hub. This is for first time deposit. So this is live. Make sure to take advantage of this if you want to get this insane bonus. Moving on to Ethereum. Ethereum got a perfect rejection off of my orange line right here, $2,500. Uh, dollar level. You can see the rejection very clearly. Still, Ethereum is looking bullish. I don't see any cause for concern right here, but pay attention to all of my support levels right here. Uh, big targets. Uh, okay, it's not here. I think the next target for Ethereum, I think we uh, talked about $3,000 previously. Yeah, you can see it right here. When I draw the Fibonacci, you can see the next target at 3,263 actually. So looking good for Ethereum. I don't have any cause for major concerns when it comes to Ethereum. 
Cardano, Cardano is uh, going sideways, ranging for a bit, but I got a Cardano video loaded up for you uh, for later today. So if you're a Cardano holder, you will want to subscribe and activate the bell right now. So yeah, make sure to check out that video later today. Uh, BNB, perfect um, rejection here at my orange line at $613. And by the way, all of these lines, these lines on BNB, these lines on Cardano, orange boxes, Ethereum, all of this is going to be available on my website for everyone. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely very, very excited about that. I don't have an ETA for my website yet, but that is going to be very interesting. I hope that you are going to appreciate that as well. Things looking good in general, but uh, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I will see you in the next one.